there needs to be accountability here. These are the parents of 16-year-old Tate Meir, the young football star gunned down on November 30th at Oxford High School. We're not doing good. All we do is walk around the house and think about Tate. Speaking Thursday morning alongside attorney Ven Johnson and the families of other students present at the high school that day. They are filing a lawsuit against three Oxford teachers and the dean of students. All of these kids are absolutely traumatized and it, the whole thing could have been avoided had people simply done what they're required to do under the law. Johnson spoke about the teachers finding these drawings allegedly done by accused shooter Ethan Crumbly just hours before the shooting happened. You don't have to be a psychologist or psychiatrist to, to see this and feel the sadness and desperation of the person writing this on his chapter five test review of using congruent triangles. Because teachers are deemed mandatory reporters under Michigan's child protection law, Johnson believes they broke the law when police weren't called that day. Instead, the dean of students allegedly met with Crumbly and his parents, but then sent the boy back to class without checking his backpack. Prosecutors have said inside it, was the Sig Sauer 9mm later used to kill four students. And we've now made it almost impossible to hold a teacher, administrator, counselor responsible, even though the law says that they're mandatory reporters and they have to report. So we think that we really need to take a look at this law. Johnson says they will take this case all the way through the appellate court chain to challenge the perceived immunity of teachers and school administrators. My clients realize that this is something that we're going to fight all the way and we hope to effectuate change and to expose what these teachers and counselors at Oxford did wrong so that other schools and school employees can say, oh man, okay, now I get it. We can never let that happen. And an update tonight on the status of the criminal case against accused shooter Ethan Crumbly. What we're talking about with this lawsuit is a civil case. Based on these new court filings, Crumbly expected to present a so-called insanity defense at trial. The court will now likely under order him to undergo a mental evaluation, which will likely delay his case for several months time. For now, though, live in the studio, not just the kids are victims. Every person in that school, not just the kids, are victims of this entire series of events that was caused by, yes, the Crumleys, absolutely, hence they're in the lawsuit, but also because of the failures of the personnel that we've outlined. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of the parents of Tate Mir, one of the four students killed. They're also suing all three Crumbleys. But we taught Tate and his brothers to be responsible for their actions and always be held to them and always be accountable for them. And it would be a dishonor to Tate if we didn't do this. And the values that we stand for as a family. Johnson says the Child Protection Act, which guarantees the safety and welfare of all children, will be used to show school officials didn't follow protocols when the shooter violated school policies, like looking up ammunition and drawing pictures of guns. His moral compass is shattered. He suffered an injury so severe that it's invisible, and so people won't know that he could look at all of you in this room right now and wonder when you are going to shoot him. The news that Crumbly's attorney plans to use the insanity plea came out during the press conference. When you have somebody that's premeditated and planned what he clearly planned for months and months and months, good luck selling a, a uh, insanity plea. The lawsuit was submitted this morning in Oakland County Circuit Court. Johnson estimated it would take years to be resolved. Trevor Sahaki, WNAM, TV5. And this isn't.